We're joined now by Dr. Georges Benjamin, the executive director of APHA. Can you tell us a little bit about what's going to be happening at this year's annual meeting? Well, you know, this is our, our annual event where we bring together 13,000 of our closest friends um, to really get involved with fellowship, to learn science, um, to get a better understanding of the practice of public health, and oh, at the end of the day, how to improve people's health. Can you tell us why this year's theme for science, for action, for health is important? Well, you know, science and the evidence about what works is kind of the, the, the bedrock of what we do, um, the bedrock of our understanding. But understanding that science and not being able to put it into practice, ultimately to, put, to make you healthier, um, doesn't work if you, unless you link the three together. So this year's theme um, is for us to understand the science, um, understand how to take that science into practice um, with the goal to try to improve people's health. And then to um, you know, yell from the rafters because one of the things about public health is that our best work occurs when nothing happens. Um, so we want to make sure people understand that um, um, they're healthy today because of the work that public health practitioners do. And what has APHA been doing to promote the importance of science in improving public health? Well, this, is, this has been a fascinating year. I mean, we've been involved in educating the public broadly. We spent a fair amount of time talking to members of Congress, the administration, um, pushing back on policies we don't think work and supporting policies that we do. So in terms of the environment and climate change, addressing um, this terrible tragedy we have of gun violence, um, just maternal mortality and trying to improve the health and well-being of mothers and babies are all been important to us this year. And next year's meeting focuses on the prevention of violence. Now, people often think of violence as guns and domestic abuse, but what else are they missing in that equation when we're talking about public health? You know, I spent the first half of my uh, medical career practicing emergency medicine. And one of the things that I learned is that um, violence is preventable, the injury from violence is preventable. So all of the things that we do from a societal perspective um, around poverty, um, the structure of our communities, how we talk to one another, the fact that we don't treat each other with respect, um, all impact the way people behave. Um, we have environmental toxins which change the brain structure and the behavior of our children um, that are issues. The fact that we don't better educate our kids. So all of these social determinants create the environment for violence to occur. Um, Domestic violence is certainly part of it, um, but the interpersonal violence part is, is another. Well, Dr. Benjamin, we sure appreciate you joining us today, and we look forward to hearing more about these important topics throughout the convention. Thank well, you. I'm excited to be here. Thank you very much.